This is the final video in the series for Grade 11 CAT Computer Application Technology Prac Exam, Paper 1 from November 2019. Just remember this is a paper that's quite longer than normal. Most of the papers you experience will be 150 marks. This is out of 180 because it's the older format. So it won't be this long for you, but it's nice to practice on because we've got extra examples. Speaking about extra examples, let's go and check out the last question. Just a reminder that video description has links to the other questions as well as the data files that you can practice on before you even try watching the rest of this video so go try it out and then come back and see how far you get so let's get to question six so here we are at question six it shouldn't be that long let's go 6.1 we've got to open up six organizer which i have already opened over here this is the word document so if i come to the question it says your school will participate in events study the picture below and answer the following questions edit the coordinator shape so that the text reads correctly so the coordinator shape should look like that let's see what we've got so this looks like some sort of smart art and you see that it's upside down. So we want that text to be the other way around. And maybe it's something to do with the format, more to the format of that shape. So maybe that shape is the wrong way around. So if I come here to arrange, I'm looking for a rotation. So, oh, there we go. so let's try rotate it completely the other way around. If I rotate it around that way, there we go. That fixes that problem. So that was quite easy. Then add the following information under head employment. Head employment needs those two values as bullets underneath it. So these two values over here. So we need to add that to it. So if we come here, we want to edit the text so over here in the text. I'm going to press enter and then let's type that text in. So I typed it out. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's more aligned to the left. So I've selected the text and make sure that it's aligned more to the left. And I want that text to actually be smaller than the actual heading so I'll make that just a little bit smaller and I'll make the heading just a little bit bigger just so that I can also get it looking a little bit more like that actually we must actually align that to the left as well so maybe the whole thing must be aligned to the left like that so there we go if I click away there we go it looks a little bit closer to what we want uh, it wants bullets if I click on yeah there's no option to click on bullets so I don't know where they want bullets from I've looked over here. I don't see anything about bullets. I don't think that's a major issue. But there we go. It's only two marks. I think we got most of those marks, if not all of them. So let's look at the next question. Add another shape named head research. So there's head research. It's between those two. So we need to add that shape in between these two. So we're going to click over here. And we're going to add a shape. So there, because I clicked on that one, I added it between them. So yeah, we're going to add the text head research click away and there you can see that it's been added above the coordinator there we go so it's in the right place perfect head research is actually we can make the text a bit smaller but so we can make it a, click on it make the text a bit smaller just so that it looks like it is in the diagram like that actually all the text is a bit smaller so we can change all of them if you want and then switch the layout of the smart art from right to left so I think from right to left. So that's a bit annoying because now our head research is in the wrong place. So we want head health services to be over there. So if you look there, that's on that side. So we need to change the order of the smart art. So if I come here to smart art, we can actually go the opposite direction. But the problem is this one is now in the wrong place. So I'm actually going to click on this one and move it up. Not move up, but let's move down. Let's move down. So there we go. There now it's in the right place. I just want to make sure that those are all in the right place. Does it look like it's close enough? There we go. I think it's spot on. I'm happy with that. That. I think we've done all of them for that. So I think we've got those marks. Let's move on to the next one. 6.2. Make sure we save. And then we can leave that document. Then 6.2. Open up the Celebrate spreadsheet, which I've got open over here. And they are telling me to see a chart. Change the graph to resemble the one above. So we've got this chart over there. So the first thing I'll notice is that it's not a line chart. So that's the first thing. So I'm going to change this. Click on it. And I'm going to come here to Chart Design. And I'm going to change the chart type. So I want to change it to one of these bar charts. So the bar chart should be fine. So let's click on the bar chart. And click OK. So it's already the right chart. We must change the cities. Must be sorted in descending order. I'll we'll know that Tokyo is first. Our Tokyo is first. So our, this text over here should be sorted. So we are going to sort those values. Custom sort. And we sorting it by rows, as you can see. So I'm going to sort it by row two, which is the first list of names. So we want it in alphabetical order. So 
Let's change the sort from A to Z. Let's try that. So if I change the order of the sort, you'll notice that the values are now in the better position. Tokyo, Sao Paulo, London at the bottom. I think that's better. So orders are now sorted according to the chart, but according to the data, it was in ascending order. And then use a spreadsheet to vary the colors of the bars by point. So whenever they use these words, we are actually looking for those particular keywords in Microsoft Excel. So if we see those words, we know we're in the right track. So we know we want to change the color colors of the charts that's the fill of each bar so let's go here let's click on the bars and right click and we want to format the data series and we want to change its fill so let's click on the fill option see what comes up and by clicking on the fill ah we can see very colors by point that sounds very similar to what we want over here very colors by point so if i click on that option away well, there you can see the bars are each a different color. And I think that's all that they wanted. So there we go. I think we've done the whole question. Question is done. We can save it. And well done, grade 11. We have finished that paper. Just a reminder, if you go to the playlist tab on our YouTube channel, you'll find playlists of other CAT grade 11 papers. So go try them out and hopefully they'll help you with your exams. Good luck, grade 11s. Just remember, if you're not a subscriber, click on that subscribe button so you can support the channel. Don't forget about our TikTok channel, Atmos Long Education. And for theory, check out Atmos Long Computer Terms. I'm sure you'll find that very useful too. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.